Okay, first finding the rate of change for A, which is 90 over one minute, 90 yards per minute. So, or two, I mean 290 per yards per minute, or um, 290 without an y-intercept. It's the one that starts with zero, so it's zero, zero. Okay, equation in slope-intercept form is y equals to mx plus b. b here is zero. The slope, the rate of change is 290 right here. So you put it in there and that there. Okay, so same thing here for b. Here's the slope. Finding the slope, it's 2 over 1 or 2. The y-intercept is 0, 1. So 0, 1 here. And if you can find, okay, tomorrow's the quiz. So equation in slope-intercept form. Slope and then the intercept right there. Um, got that. And then make sure you know how to explain what your answer means if it has a And C. Notice I explain what the answer mean at the bottom here. Not that, that's the y-intercept. Right here, three down, down three every one minute, hour, every two hours. That's what it says, the candle burns down actually three inches every two hours. But down three inches every two hours, I'm happy with that. Um, the y-intercept, anything that starts with zero right here, zero, 12 right there. Okay, and then the slope, is this and the y-intercept slope and rate of change is 12 so your, this is your answer right there b that's how you do d get that slope um y-intercept zero five slope intercept form and the meaning is uh, one item costs four dollars one item costs four dollars or four four dollars for every one item means the same thing Okay, 2a, you do that. Okay, um, 2b, you complete the table. C, you graph it based on your table. Number 3a, right equation, that's your equation. Um, fill in the table, that's the table. And then the graph. Um, we were counting by 7, so 7, this is 84, 7 is 91, 98, and we, all we need is 95, so 95 um, number of times he plays. So um, the largest number of golf balls is 285, you take the 285, divide by that 15 box, there's 15 boxes here. So um, 285 divided by the 15 boxes. Okay, so you take um, 285, clear your calculator. I'll put calculator on your desk. You can't use computers tomorrow. Um, and you can go backwards on there too. Divide by 15 boxes, you get 19. Um, it's too hard to number by 19, so I'm going to count up to 20 to count each box by 20. This is counting, not regular rounding, okay? Kids get that confused all the time. I'm doing it for counting. 40, 60, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, and 300. 285 is our largest number. So the first one is um, ordered pair. It's not 0 and 25. It's 0, 285. Um, so 0, 285. Okay, 290 is right there, 285 is right there in the middle. Um, 45 and 150, 45 is about right there, 150, 140, 150 is right there. Okay, and then um, 
95 and 0, 95 and 0, 95 is around right there, and 0 is right there. Connect all three dots, there goes your line. Okay, next one you do the same thing. Oh, this will be on your test. Here's the review again. Rate of change, rate of change is y sub 2 minus, did I do this wrong again? I copy and paste the wrong thing, I forgot to change this. This is letter B. Y-intercept is letter B. Finding the rate of change, remember rate of change, is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay, so your y sub 2's, I'm going to pick 0, 0, my x sub 1, y sub 1, and then I do not want fractions, x sub 2, y sub 2. So my y's are yards, so 4 minus 0 yards. My x's are seconds, so 3 minus 0 seconds. So my um, rate of change, my m, is 4 yards every 3 seconds. So the meaning is up 4 yards every 3 seconds positive it's it's up okay so your rate of change is um, 4 over 3 your y-intercept is anything something that starts with 0 and 0 so write a linear equation that's y equals mx plus b in slope intercept form your slope your rate of change is 4 over 3 Bring down the x, and this is the y-intercept is 0. Okay? All right. I didn't give you one with negatives. Uh-oh. Your rate of change here, your slope, is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So I'm going to pick 0, 0, your y-intercept. Uh-oh. I should have gotten a better graph for you. Should have had negative graphs. Oh well. But we've done a lot of these. A lot finding slope, believe me. Um, and the other point is 1, 2. X sub 2, y sub 2. X sub 1, y sub 1. 0, 0. Okay. So your y's is... 2 minus 0 over your x 